Okay, one of the kids that I'm tutoring is uh, having a bit of problem with this one, so I thought I'd just quickly run through it on here as well. Um, to simplify thirds, what we need to do is we need to break these the numbers underneath the thirds into factors, and most importantly, we have to break them into factors that are square numbers, so we can well do what the question suggests and simplify them. So we'll start with um, eighty. Now, 80 is equal to 16 times 5. Now, 16 is a square number, so that's going to help us. Then we'll go on to 245. Now, this might not be as obvious, but 245 is 49 times 5. And 50, that's a bit more obvious than the previous one, is 25 times 2. Okay, so now that we've got our little factor trees or you know factors over here, what we can do is we can rewrite this using the factors. Now, we're going to use a third, a third law which states that the square root of AB is equal to the square root of A times the square root of B. So we're going to use this law when we're breaking up the numbers underneath the thirds. So we know the square root of 80 then is going to be equal to, so this is going to be equal to square root of 16 times square root of 5 minus 3 now I'll put this piece in brackets because it'll just make it easy to read um, the square root of 49 times the square root of 5 plus 2 times the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. Cool. So you can almost see how this is going to take shape now. We know that the square root of 16 is 4. So that's going to be 4 times the square root of 5, or just 4 root 5. Now, we know that the square root of 49 is 7, so this is going to be minus 3 times 7 times the square root of 5. Now, you could do all this in one step, but... I'm just going through it the long way so you can get a grip of what's going on. So this is then added to 2 times the square root of 25, which is 5, times the square root of 2. Cool. So now we've done that, we can just multiply these numbers out. So we have... You don't have to do anything with the first one. Now, minus 3 times 7 is minus 21. Two times five is 10. Now, what we can do here is we, like algebra, we can only add and subtract like thirds, so they're thirds with the same numbers underneath them. So we can actually take these two away from each other. So we can go 4 minus 21 is negative 17. Square root 5 plus 10 square root 2. Now, just by convention, you could leave it there. That would be fine, but we can just move this one to the back so we don't have that 
negative sign just sticking out the front. It just makes it look a lot cleaner. And that's the simplification of that third.